A football player has been dropped from his scholarship to play in Florida, all for saying the N word. Now, we all know that we're adults. We should be allowed to say any word and talk about it like adults. But there's one group of radical people in our country that want to own a word. They want to own a word that they say all the time. They rap about all the time. They use uh, when they're arguing with each other. It's not an empowering word. They use it to slander each other. And now they want to use that word to take away opportunities from people they decide they don't like. Here's the latest victim. One of the best high school football players in the country had his Florida scholarship offer pulled this weekend. After he was seen on video rapping the N-word, Marcus Stokes posted the quick two-second clip on his social media page last week, appearing to show the quarterback recruit singing, Welcome back, N-A. Almost immediately afterward, the knees HS athlete, who's white, received backlash for it. And on Sunday, the University of Florida made the decision to pull their offer from him. Stokes had been committed to attending the school since early July. This is pathetic, ladies and gentlemen. If this guy is singing his favorite song, he didn't write the song. He didn't go in the booth and record the song. He didn't produce the song. He didn't print the CDs or the MP3s. He didn't stream it to people's phones. He just enjoyed the song. And he's like, welcome back, or whatever the intro to this stupid song is. So what the radical left and BLMers are saying is, don't embrace our culture don't like what we do, don't sing along to our songs, don't say any words that we deem necessary, and the words keep changing. It's not just the N-word. You can't say the United blank college fund, that word in the middle starts with an N. You can't say colored people, you have to say people of color. You can't do braids in your hair if it's the braids that they think they own. So it's just chiseling away at what anyone else is allowed to do by one group, who claims they're victims while they victimize everyone else. Now, nobody wants to say the stupid N-word. We don't even want to hear it. I want to deport anyone that's from BLM that says it, just to teach them a lesson, that if this word is truly off limits, let's deport all BLMers. You're not allowed to live in our country if you accidentally say the word in a song, a movie, on the basketball court, anywhere. The people who say the N-word more than any other are the BLMers. You almost never hear it. That's why this is a national news story when one white kid likes the rap song. Some people are going to complain in the comments, oh, that's all you want to say. That's no, we don't want to say it. We want to deport you for saying it. But since you're going to lie and say, that's our word, here are my rebuttals to that. First of all, if it really offends you so much, why does every single rapper except for Eminem say it? And... If the people who are singing along to your songs are saying it, it's because they like your music, they like your culture, they want to be a part of what you guys are doing. These are the exact opposite of racist people. Notice I can't even say the word racist because that gets flagged and then my video gets demonetized. So I'm going to say racist. We're going to talk like children because all BLMers are spoiled victim children. Number three, he is a football quarterback. 70% of his team is black. Notice I can't say the word, so we're going to talk like children. Could he possibly be a racist if his job is to throw the winning ball to a black guy? I don't think so. He's probably not racist. He probably depends on these other players and is a team player with Latinos and blacks. Number four, black people will lie and say, that's our word. We use it to empower each other. No, you don't. You use it while you're robbing each other. You're using it in prison while you're stomping each other. You use it in the streets of the south side of Chicago while you're pew-pewing each other. This word is used for hate, killing, and fighting in your culture. So it does not empower you. Your culture is responsible for killing more black people than any other culture. And you're screaming it out the side of the window while you're using this horrible word. That's why I think you should go to jail or be deported, even if you're black, if you ever say the word, if these are the rules you want to create. Or... Do you just want to say, hey, some people say words, I can walk the other way. Number five, if you want to be able to fire people over a word that you say, then you don't believe in equality. You want special privileges. That's all there is to say about that. If you agree or disagree, put in the comments how or why. I think I just broke it down and explained it to you very clearly. This is not an empowering word. So either we can all be adults and say it because the word exists, or if none of us are going to say it, you should get deported. We'll be right back with a whole lot more from The Right Show.